everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's Pam. As we approach a new winter season, I thought I'd go back in time and show you some of the wonderful things I harvested in the garden last winter. So everything you're going to see in this video was harvested between January and March of 2020. Here we have a view of the garden. This is the new setup I did after rebuilding my garden after the flood of 2016. So I absolutely love this new setup. First up, we have purple mustard greens. I do not like the way purple mustard greens taste, but I do love their appearance. So I grow this basically just to see the beauty in the plant. I have to have my sugar snap peas. I grow sugar snap peas every winter and in the spring. And as far as I'm concerned, a winter garden is not a garden without broccoli. Broccoli can be grown in the winter months and the spring months, uh, in months in southern Louisiana, so I grow it at both times. I was blessed to get some really nice heads of broccoli this past winter and spring, and I hope to get even more in the upcoming season. And whenever there's broccoli, there has to be broccoli, cheese, and rice casserole. I generally make this during the winter and spring months because I like to make it with fresh broccoli, not frozen broccoli. We had some really nice heads of cabbage. I can't tell you the variety because I don't really keep up with variety with the cabbage, but they were really nice and very tasty. Here we have some turnip roots. I don't generally like the greens. Some people like to eat turnip greens and they kind of cook them like collard greens or mustard greens. I usually take the root and make a turnip a gratin. For the very first time, I was successful with growing red onions. Now, I did not pick these until the spring, but they were growing during the winter. And of course, when there is a winter garden, you have to have lettuce. My family and I enjoyed so many salads, it was unreal. Here's just some of the other greens I picked this past winter. We have some bok choy, some kale, um, two different varieties of kale in fact. And of course, winter is the time when all the citrus ripens and it's time to pick citrus off your citrus tree. Here's some beautiful lemons. I didn't show you everything I this past winter, but I hope you did enjoy what I did show. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see even more awesome videos. Thank you. Until the next time.